Welcome back subscribers. Welcome back new people. Welcome back Virgo. Part 2 for November 2022. Right? If you got the first part, you got your factual, astrological goodies about what energy is coming in and yin-yang and everything for November. Okay? Which, let me just say, you might want to check that out, but you're going into the third house. If you didn't know it by now, uh, you're going to be having, um, dealing with street life, um, having discussions with our siblings. This is astrological. So far in the reading where we're at, we've already had a sibling pop up. You're going to want to see if that resonates, but that's current energy. Now we're going to look into the future. Any potential outside influence to your situation or what we're trying to gain maybe. Heck, maybe it's even what this other person is trying to gain. Um, I want to give lots of different Virgos, you know, an insight. But it sounds like you all have a lot in common. And this is like everyone who has a responsibility to not only tolerate another person's point of view, but also to accept it eagerly as a challenge to your own understanding. So... We all go through stuff like that, right? But for you guys, it's going to be even more intense. That Gemini, Gemini energy in November. Very curious about that. And our our strength. Something's going to be strengthened in Mercury. And fighting for our opinions. You know, my opinion matters. Maybe I said earlier in Astrological that your voice. Your voice is going to be strengthened. And we have the Five of Wands. I know sometimes my voice, you're like, where did she go? But just follow because it gets really good. I promise. Sometimes this is a conflict and a discussion. Um, you see what I'm saying? It's a conflict in a discussion. So kind of brainstorming. You guys get together and brainstorm and problem solve. But this energy encourages uh, a difference of opinion and diversity. They're very different, you know, at times and a lot of the time. Right? So some of you will be in uh, somebody fighting change. Somebody doesn't want that to change. What we spoke of earlier that we're not going to do anymore. That private journey that Virgo is on. Going to fight that change. So be ready for that. Rather than being able to work towards a common goal. Okay. Let's take a look at our first future card. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We've got the King of Cups. Very, very interesting. Because this is where we see a, a person, another, you know, it's actually a nine times out of ten, it's a man. It doesn't have to be. It could be another uh, negative energy. It could be negative water influencing somebody we know or somebody, somebody else that we know knows that we don't even know it's influencing us. I don't know. Water sign. But then again, that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, right? Well, whoever it is, there's certainly no pushover. This could be your energy in November as well. Because it's negative. And you're negative on the... I don't mean that you're negative, but you know what I mean on the yin-yang. Because I like to keep all that energy straight because it's more accurate. So here we do see someone first future card. Uh, receiving a positive balance and a calming... Calming influence, I think, with that Gemini. Very flexible, very versatile, and very perceptive. Being able to see things a lot more clearly. Kind of mastering our realm of options. And our emotions. 
being in Mercury again, being strengthened. Moon is emotions. And Moon and Mercury is so strong. Probably, no, definitely the strongest of all. So that's great for you guys. Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And all of you other zodiac signs who have your Moon in Virgo, it's very nice to meet you. I am a Taurus who has my Moon is in Gemini. So that's pretty cool. We'll get you guys some links down below in the description box so you can check out your birth chart if you don't know where your moon is. But if your moon's in Virgo and you know it, this could be a message for you as well. We're going to be a very diplomatic. Okay, and I feel that Virgo in this, you are correct. I'm going to find out and know, you know, you just know that you're right. In your situation, you know that you're right. And being emotionally strong, especially this month in November, makes you a fantastic partner. If you're in a relationship, it makes your partner fantastic. It's relationships, uh, you know, typically this is good news if you're in a relationship, so that's cool. Very balanced and loving, and if you're single and you're looking for love, it shows that love is coming your way soon. And I think when it comes to your job, um, since you, you make friends at work, like you have emotional connections, right? So... They're going to be really good, too, if anything needed to be known about work for some of you. Uh, business, career, you know, whatever. Good working relationships, too. <sighs> There's somebody that needs money or needs help. And you don't have a lot of it. There's something that you don't have a lot of, but you wouldn't share it with them. Uh, Spirit says, go ahead and give it to them. You don't need it. You're giving it up anyways. Or just because what goes around comes around. So if it's a positive thing, help out. Because you'll get that back. If you're questioning that. Good answer there. I like that. Great. Let's take a look at how Virgo might be looking at themselves. How other people might be looking at you. And it's definitely grappling. So we didn't know what we should do. And it says to go ahead and give it because you'll get it back. Or what goes around comes around. So if you've been grappling with that lack of harmony with some fellow team members or somebody, that sibling, that man, that water energy... Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, influenced, whoever, whatever. Don't force it to fit. But if it does, you, you can feel it and sense it. If you are having, so making it difficult, something getting in your way, right? You need, maybe, somebody needs to realign with the original goal of the project, make a new agreement. Bring some more of that systematic energy into it because this is, you're seeing yourself as grappling with that. <coughs> we might see ourselves, some of us, other Virgo can see ourselves at this point where um, we're getting tired with it. And then some of us are getting tired with our job. Some of us are seeing ourselves getting tired with this stupid bullshit. And I think you, somebody else sees themselves as joining forces. Like we're going to join forces somehow with somebody trying to join forces. So other people might be looking at you like 
you follow them no matter what they want. You just go along with it. And then some of you don't. I'd love to know which ones of you do and which ones of you don't go along with it. Hmm. I mean, if you're always normally having to fight for your voice to be heard, I'd say you go along with it. And the way that others are going to be seeing you in November is that you're not going to go along with it. Spirit's highly encouraging you not to. And to take your own route. But the way other people might be looking at you. And the 10 card Celtic says they see you go in a different route. Many of you. If you're not, you should be. And then some of you might see that. They might see that you need to be. However it fits. It's how we look at the world. It's how they look at you. Ready to test uh, that you're, you know, you're ready to test somebody as a teacher and somebody else has to take a test. Maybe it's about passing a test, being very testy. Again, that potential to nag. Uh, we just came out of our possessions, our finance. Um, we had somebody who came out of something Somebody trying to lead us into a different direction. Uh, and now we're going to be very curious about and talking about that. Very connected, very vocal, and adapting to that. It's going to be in the house where we have to deal with uh, something circulating around discussions. Um, again, social life, social life, social life. Oh, it's about, okay, now I get it. It's how we do things around here, Virgo. It's how we do things around here. So either you're the one that says that or they are. It's, it's this how we do things around here and, you know, they see you kind of running on autopilot automatically ready to go the route. But that's what they think. Huh. Because here we have a mature woman. We also have a mother. Um, we have a wife. Um, an adult woman. These women may be in positions of power in Virgo's situation. Um, for some, it will be in your business, business in your work. For some, it's your boss. Okay? But putting all of this together... Any potential obstacle that could get in the way of a good outcome. Again, this Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. So somebody's wife could get in the way. Um, if you're the wife, then, you know, whatever. Just however that fits. Earlier, it's that sibling and here is a confirmation for that individual. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they're a water sign. Okay. Trying to lead us in a certain direction. We're not going to do that anymore. If you think it's going to get in the way, you need to draw your attention inward and focus on your emotional well-being in November. Because you're great at taking care of others, Virgo, but now is the time to take care of you. Um, this card also suggests that someone's emotionally drained because they've been so busy supporting others, you know, and other people's agenda, right? Yeah. I mean, you can hold a space for them, but ultimately, 
they are responsible for their own shit. They are responsible for their own feelings. They're responsible for their own life and life experience. And they need to go on their own journey. And somebody around you needs to learn how to cope. And it's not you, Virgo. And I'm like not trying to yell at you. But I have a toothache. Again, I'm getting it taken care of tomorrow. Thank goodness. Trying to get this out. The messages have been great from Spirit. Has been rocking. Good messages. Things are resonating. We're getting some good advice. We're getting the true accuracy of what's coming in. This is your potential outcome to any situation here. If this has resonated up to this point, please hit that like button. Thank you. And establishing the correct way to go about this, you guys, is going to be so important. Um, and that's what this whole reading has been about. It's about going what route we're going with it. So, maybe someone will be afraid of the sacrifice that they will need to make if they answer that call. And maybe someone's worried coming up. If they're not ready to step into a more prominent role and somebody else is just going to choose to play it safe. Well, Spirit says, playing it safe, be safe. You're doing your best to pretend or someone around you is doing their best to pretend that they didn't receive something, which we had a scammer. And carrying on with their daily life, hoping that people will just go away about it. But let's be honest, and or this person needs to be honest that took your shit. That call to come clean never goes away. It just gets louder and louder until somebody pays attention. So maybe Virgo's just going to keep getting louder and louder until somebody pays attention. But however that fits, it's time to push past your inner fears for somebody and that self-doubt and trust that the universe has your back. So, you know, all of this is happening for a reason. And I think that Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising is critic is coming through loud and clear in November. Gemini is, again, pushing us to be very curious, um, to learn how to be flexible and versatile, you know. But we want to communicate that change. We want to be vocal about it. Um, street smart. Very studious. Very studious in how we talk and how we think is going to be very important in November. What we do on social media is going to be very important. See that social media as a separate part of yourself. Keep that separate. Because I think on social media, we should make it look more like everything will be just fine. Maybe we do that, but be very disciplined with your social media. There's a cycle that somebody needs to break because all of your posts are all about self-criticism. We need to replace that with a more positive message about like what is possible. Because we dealt with our worthiness and whether we were worthy enough. And somebody got scammed. And now we're dealing with uh, judgment, but in reverse. And the universe is trying to send you a message and invite you to uh, something bigger, you guys. But Virgo's not listening. 
So if somebody's trying to lead you into something, uh, you're not listening. And then in your spiritual world, spirit wants you to know they're trying to get a hold of you too. And you're not listening. So maybe for some of us, there's somebody important trying to call and you're ignoring everybody. Um, but you're missing an important call. We need to pay attention there. Um, don't worry about other people judging you either. Okay, guys, in November. Don't, don't worry about it. You might be a little bit. And somebody's going to feel guilty. And somebody's going to feel uh, shame. Somebody is going to feel shame. And somebody needs to work on self-forgiveness, self-acceptance, self-love. Somebody needs to let go of something and feel their freedom from that. So if you are already on that journey, uh, getting that freedom is coming more and more as we move into third house. Again, November 2022, Virgo. Sun, moon, or rising. Getting very connected. A lot of strong, positive energy coming at you. There's also uh, superficial energy. Uh, so someone around you can act very superficial or you might tend to come off as... Uh, superficial so that's an energy in astrologically in the Gemini energy which should be pretty strong um, and so as you you're just kind of somebody just going on with their daily life hoping that all of this will just go away right so let's let's get proactive Let's 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 become uh, let's do that. Let's make sure we know how we look at it and get connected. And be street smart about all of that other stuff too. I mean, because you're too smart for that. Whichever you're gonna establish the correct treatment. Somebody really wants to establish. A strong sense of purpose. Uh, being very active. There's going to be a spiritual awakening for some of you. And some of you will still be waiting for that medical diagnosis. But relationships and love, it's going to be a deep self-reflection. So again, that sibling, that man... That water, other water sign, that older woman, whether it's three different people or two or you, but in your work, in your career, abundance will flow. It's going to be more on the relationship, uh, trying to find comfort in that. It's pretty much your life story, right? Okay. Good luck in your situation. Check back for more readings. Hit that subscription button if you want to uh, be on my sub list. Love to have you. Thank you. Yeah, and until next time, Shalom.